Aisha's journey to the land of Slimdom. It's week number one for my lovely friend and one of my lovely slimmers, Aisha, who I've known for many years and was here with me here in Agadir in Morocco last week. We enjoyed walking along the beaches together. Uh, we enjoyed some lovely food together. Uh, so she is on a mission now. She has got home. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is catching up with her every week for the month of June uh, and catching up with her. What's her plan? What's her results so far and how she's getting on? So it's going to be a fun month, uh, not only for me hitting uh, my own personal goals of losing those £30 in 30 days, but also uh, I want to bring you an insight into some of my slimmers as well. Uh, now, the good thing about when Aisha pops up in a minute is we've got the same beautiful tans as well, even though she was only here Monday to Friday. And, and more or less, she only had one, one and a half days in the sun. Uh, I've just spoken to her now and she's got a lovely tan on her. So uh, we look forward to uh, seeing that in a minute. Uh, I will just uh, get her on here. So yes, if you've got any questions for me, uh, if you've got any questions for Aisha, feel free to ask. Uh, Aisha has done some lives with me before, so uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I'm not sure if Aisha is here now. It's not telling me you're here, Aisha. So uh, please let, give me a little comment if you are watching uh, and I should be able to bring you on. So Aisha's not doing the full 30 days, uh, as in the just two shakes. She's going to tell you exactly what she's doing when we get her on here. Here she is. Right, bring her on the video. So Aisha, the invitation now. So, yes, so I'm doing hard call. So fizz sticks, protein shakes, and my greens. That is what I'm on this month. Here oh, she yeah. is. Hello. <laughs> I've just told them all, all we're the same colour, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, I know. We've both got that lovely sun-kissed <laughs> Moroccan look right now. Only a few days in Morocco and you look like this. <laughs> <laughs> we're great advertisements, aren't we? For the no, I know. I know. <laughs> right. So, Aisha, first of mm. all, tell us about your holiday. Did you have a nice time with me? I, yeah, I had a lovely time. I was with you. Why wouldn't I have a lovely time? Yeah. <laughs> now, last week, I told you about Moroccan soup, but we didn't get any, did we? No. I really wanted you to try that, but... So, I've got oh. you a takeaway version of the Moroccan soup, which I'm going to be bringing back and posting to you. Okay. Nice. It obviously mm. won't be as nice as the fresh one, but you'll definitely be able to experience it. Okay. Uh, I fed some to Med yesterday and he was like, mm. as you know, he's very picky and stuff, but I think we've sort of got the approval that it is Moroccan soup. So okay. that, should, uh, that should relive the Moroccan feels when you Lovely. get that. Lovely. Can... I'll look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> so over the last few months, um, you know, nutritionally, you've been hit and miss. Uh, you've mm -hmm. been trying, which is great. But yeah. one thing you've been excelling at since the start of this year, and that is exercise. What have you yeah. been doing? And right. Why? right. So basically, I've not been able to zip my, my mouth up, but <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've hit a like dance fit twice a week, Zumba once a week, Pilates and body pump. That is, a, that's not a mean feat, is it? That is tough. That is hard yeah. work. Yeah, it, it's been hard, especially because I've got an injury, frozen shoulder. Yeah. But I found that as I'm exercising more, it's really improving the muscle in my shoulder. So um, despite some feelings of um, uncomfortableness, yeah, I'm, I'm still going. So, yeah. Um, but you will be pleased to know that I did press start when I came back from Morocco. Um, yeah. And, and you know where you had all your, your drinks all lined up? I've been yeah. doing that as well from the morning. So I know exactly what I want to 
um, what fluids I want to put in into my body. Yeah, so, you've and that's shared that in the, you've shared that in our private group. Yeah, and I just yeah because you very much work the same as me. You're working from home. You are you can have kind of a, a office based job yeah. therefore so i think when you are static like that just to have your lineup for the day that's a is going to yeah. keep you nourished but b is going to keep you hydrated yeah I, you know for me for me it works so how have you been finding it since you've been doing it i found it really really helpful um reminding myself that i need to actually drink because i can get so wrapped up in what i'm doing um that i, I I don't even move yeah. um, literally have to just get up and go to the loo and come back again which is not good at all but when I've got them here on the little tray I just sort of reach out drink and also it's encouraging me to get up in between my calls to to sort of walk out into the garden and, and stretch my legs as well so oh and I've been watching right. you with your breathing exercises <laughs> and your um, fitness which i will um join in tomorrow yeah so this is part of our kickstart june for everybody you know just giving people lots of options to exercise especially because it is now the summer and people are feeling a little bit more alive and open to exercise hopefully yeah. uh, it yeah. will inspire people and you get to see me live from morocco every day what more no. do you want to inspire you i know what more <laughs> <laughs> well you did inspire me you know the, your dedication and your um like your ethic in in staying fit and being disciplined i was just thinking look you know what am i doing i need to be doing more than that and i came back and just straight away i just pressed start yeah okay this is good mm -hmm. now with a lot of my bigger slimmers and myself we're trying to lose 30 pounds in 30 days fortunately for you you don't quite need to lose 30 pounds do you <laughs> No. <laughs> so what 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 is your plan? What are you thinking to do? Right. So what I am actually doing is in the morning I'm starting with my protein shake. Then I have my fizz. Yeah. And then obviously I'm trying to drink um just over two liters of water. And I'm trying to consume that during the day because if I leave it too late, then I'm up peeing. Yeah. Like God knows how many times. I'm a little I've I'm eliminating carbs. So I'm kind of focusing on fish, vegetables. Like today I had steak, um, a large mushroom and some sauerkraut, which I said to you earlier, oh, it's an acquired taste, isn't it? So, um, healthy for you that. Yeah, that's the reason why I grin and bear it. To be honest with you, I will eat it, but it's not, a, it's not my favorite. But I try and I just mashed it into the steak juice and just ate it and thought, I love this. I love this. <laughs> well, you need to use your affirmations when you're eating sauerkraut. Yeah. yeah. And I'm um, like, I'm eating fruits, but I'm trying to um, eat like blueberries, things that have got not, um, don't have too much sugar in them. Um, yeah. It's, I was saying to you earlier that it's so much easier to stay on plan when you're at home. Um, yeah. When, like last night, for example, I went to an AGM and I it was just short notice. And when I got there, obviously the buffet is all like um, carb, carb and carb with very little protein um, because my focus is is protein and eating more protein than anything else yeah um and i did i thought okay i'm just gonna have one tuna roll and then it led to two and then it led to three and i was not impressed with myself i got home and i gave myself a really hard time but it, what i noticed is that i didn't sleep well that night because i was bloated and really uncomfortable yeah so today i um, I just had fluids up until about four o'clock when I had the steak, um, and I right. actually feel quite quite full. Normally, my time where I tend to want to snack or whatever is is after eight o'clock. But I'm hoping because I've I've now eaten and I had some nuts as well 
that that's not going to happen. And if it, if I do feel like I need a snack, I've got a punnet of um, blueberries, which I will eat. So, yeah. yeah so, you're doing exactly the right thing. The protein yeah. and the good fats, that's what's going to keep you, yeah. you know, stop those hunger cravings and turn the corner when you have had some tuna rolls from a buffet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. Um, but um, it, it happens and I, I'm, I'm over that now. Yeah because it's yeah. been a, it's been a, a good day so my ideally what i'm looking at is a weight loss of around what 10 pounds okay fabulous which is a couple of pounds a week which is perfect isn't it yeah very doable yeah i i i think so and because i've i've got that head now that motivation yeah um oh. I feel like it is it's achievable and doable. I'm using my fitness pal um and Tracking. and now you're keeping me accountable by bringing me live on yes. socials. Yeah, great. Thanks, Jody. No, I appreciate <laughs> it. Um and yeah, I don't see why not. I've got um I've got a, a two weeks holiday booked to Turkey and I'm looking forward to it. And I'd like to drop a dress size, so yeah. And this is what we talked about last week, isn't it? It's, it's great to have a holiday booked and mm. something to work towards because, you know, sometimes when we, you know, we've lost a stone or something and there's no real like reward, but the reward you're going to get is to go and enjoy this amazing holiday, have some great pictures, and mm. your sister's saying, "Oh my God, you look amazing!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so um it, it's good it's good it definitely makes you feel like when i did the 30-day plan and i lost um what was it 11 11 12 pounds in 30 days yeah i just felt totally totally amazing it just makes you feel so good and um yeah that, that's that's the feeling i want to capture and, and try and keep for as long as i can yeah and this is just the difference between a calorie restriction diet and nourishing your gut you know yeah. because you are going to get all those great feelings and you are going to not only feel good but you're also going to magically look good your skins are going to be good your nails your hair mm -hmm. and that's what then makes you feel good because you start to look good and you look more confident yeah. so uh, oh gosh yeah right let's get us to that place hey? yeah Hey, let's go. Yeah. Fabulous. Any questions? Me? No. I've got no questions for you okay. right now. Fabulous. Right. We will catch up next week then, Aisha. Yeah. Thank you, Jodie. Take care. Thank Have you. a lovely evening. Bye. Bye.